So uh, the inside stem uh, we use cedar because it's easy to shape, it's light, bends nice. But uh, you know, and that would be what the planks are attached to. Then after it's planked, we put an outside stem on which is a hardwood, so that if you run out of water, uh, it isn't going to cave in the same way that the cedar. Epoxy is a lot like concrete in that it's really good at compression. It's not so good in shear or uh, you know, to tension. So concrete, you put the rebar in it, which compensates for that, and you got to you know, then, uh, the building material. Here, what we're going to be doing is adding a short cotton fiber to it. The cotton fiber then is reinforcing that goes into the epoxy uh, resin. If you, if you don't want to have a cotton fiber, you can use sanding dust. Uh, you know, again, it's a fiber. So the big advantage of uh, epoxy as a glue is that uh, you have the chemistries. Uh, if we use just uh, your carpenter's glue on here, the carpenter's glue will glue surface to surface. Epoxy soaks into the wood, so you get that deep mechanical bond inside the wood. Up here is the pressure on this surface, this surface, this surface. So you're going to put the glue on all of the, the mating surfaces. And as I said, none between these two guys. I try to picture the space that that glue's been occupying, plus a little bit more to soak in. So that means piling a whole lot. Oh, it's not going to make a stronger joint. It's going to squeeze up. ratio here is three resin to one of the hardened. So this pump is automatically dispensing the information. So these are uh, uh, pumps you would probably end up using when you buy your parts and you'll get a system that it is really. So again, uh, uh, the pumps uh, you know, are set up for the right uh, ratio. So one pump of this one pump of this would give you the right version. Mm -hmm. And here's the stir stick. So when you stir it, uh, stir for at least a minute okay. and reverse the direction. Make sure you're getting it off the side Sorry. of the stick. Make sure you're getting it down into the corners of the container. And I can get you a brush and you could yep. mm -hmm. stir it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not painting it on it, just spread it. You're going to leapfrog this all the way down, but what you need to watch yes. is that you're equidistant on top here. You just feel with your fingers in here. And as long as it feels like it's centered, then you're okay. They need equal pressure. If you put them all on the same side, it could pull everything off to one side. Well, also, by uh, you're alternating the sides, it gives you more space to get in to clean it up. If you start to uh, use a rag on here, you just smear it around. Because you get what you can here, then we'll wash that nice and clean.
until fallout's failure, you read instructions. Right. Yeah. <laughs> until fallout's failure.